Oh, oh, I, see oh I see somebody switch the camera for me. Good. I was going to get there in due time. time. I'm going to try to zoom it in a little bit too before we get rolling. So let me check on that. That way I can sit back against the beanbag chair. And. I think it's moving the camera, the camera a little, a little bit, bit to one side. side. I think that's a. Wow, okay, let's zoom all the way in. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, I've got to bring the packages in. Oh, buddy, oh, he's chewing on that silver vine. I thought he was just making a weird face. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. The recording's going. We're about to start mailbag, um, I think. Oh, I'm a minute late. I thought I was early. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. I just can't. I can't can't manage to make it early no matter how hard I try. Okay, hang on one sec. Oh. Nah. I can't even get in the door right. Okay, look out, buddy. I know it's spooky. Okay. You can come in if you want, Sprout, but you're going to get stuck in. I'm closing the door. All righty then. Yeah, I think that was it. So it's not a huge mailbag today either, which is again, perfect. I think this is exactly right. Um, and it means that we won't have to be in here for a long time. But uh, the reason I invited Teaspoon today is as I was putting our little... Um, tags over people's addresses. Hi, uh, I saw that today there's an awful lot of mail addressed to Teaspoon. I thought maybe he could join us for that, although I see he's already making his escape. Really takes after his mom, DJ in that way. Hi, buddy. I'm going to adjust this camera behind me too, so it's at a slightly more uh, forward angle, I think. There we go, because there's nobody on the beanbag chair. All right, we're going to go with that, although I put this stuff in just the wrong spot. I should have put it on the other side. Let's see if I can flip it here. There we go. Just slide this on over. It's okay, bud. Buds. Hi, everybody. Okay. I know. Look at all this disruption. Okay. There we go. Okay, let me check on Discord to make sure that I am audible. There, now we got a wide open space here with all of the kittens, room for all the kittens. And good. Oh yeah, the echo would have been, I forgot to turn the, the microphone off in here. I'm sure somebody else took care of that for me too. Thanks, uh, admins, probably Pat, I would guess she's the number one camera controller. Uh, so thanks for that. I, I would have completely forgotten until I checked in there and read it. Um, you know what, before I get started, there's one thing I want to clean up. This whole floor is a disaster, but there's two little bits of, you probably can't see them, there's two little poops right here that I just, I want to get those in particular. There we go. All right, yes, you in particular. There we go. All right, I'll have to vacuum this whole room later today, but not yet. Good. Uh, so, news of the week. Um, I think the, the big news that people are probably interested in, there were two things, uh, I guess, that sort of happened this week. Um, one is that we took, uh, the reason that we're doing this on Sunday instead of Saturday is that we took uh, Drizzle to the vet yesterday because she's been acting a little down, uh, but nothing specific. Like, she doesn't have any real specific symptom that I could point to, so I wasn't quite sure what to do, but... It had been going on long enough that yesterday or the day before I decided to call the vet and make her an appointment and bring her in. And so we brought her in yesterday. And, uh, well, as far as the you know, vet test that the vets could do, hi, DJ. Um, I asked DJ to join us today for the same reason that Teaspoon is here today. Uh, so we'll get to that pretty quickly. Um, and maybe you want to put this microphone on. You just clip it on there anywhere. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, good job getting that on the mic. What'd you uh, say? 
So I uh, brought her in yesterday. The vet checked her out thoroughly. We did, uh, you know, a full exam. And then on top of that, we did blood work, including a chest for pancreatitis. And we did, uh, after those turned up nothing, we did x-rays as well. And the only thing that we saw in all of that was that she's a tiny bit constipated, not even like a teaspoon level of constipation. Um, the vet, uh, Dr. K said, you know, well, why don't I give her an enema and we'll see what comes out and that'll decide, you know, whether we treat her for something like maybe she doesn't want to poop because maybe she's got some belly pain from something. Um, and I said, well, I know how to give an enema. You know, we've been here for long enough today, stressing her out and she probably just wants to go home. So uh, it's, I think it's the first time where Dr. K has ever suggested anything. And I've been like, ah, you know, maybe not. Um, but that was just because I felt like we could manage that part here and we didn't have to lean on her for that part. So since we got her back, um, according with following the directions of Dr. K, we've given her a bunch of laxatives and tried to keep an eye on her pooping. And I kind of dropped the ball on that last night when she stayed in the bedroom with us and other cats. So we don't know if she pooped or someone else did. But she still feels like she's got a little bit in there to go. So uh, we're working through it with her and we'll, we'll find a solution. If that's the problem or if that's a symptom one way or the other, we'll find it. Um, then the other news, of course, is I feel like some of you probably saw when Till and Custard got into a fight uh, the other day. And I just want to say nothing came of it. It was just, um, you know, uh, nobody was injured. Uh, Till was certainly Bro. very offended, but everybody was fine. Bro, are you stuck? She's not stuck. She's just silly. Uh, so that was it. That was it for that. I just wanted to, to say, you know, if you heard that, they can make so much noise that it sounds terrible. But it's mostly just sound and stinky. Um, but uh, not, nobody was injured. So I just wanted you to know that. And we're every time that something like that happens, I you know, I try to take extra care. Um, but, uh, you I'm know, sorry. inevitably. I'm sorry. Um, when we've got this You're many right, cats because... that we're shuffling all the time, um, you know, every now and then something's going to slip through. Uh, and, you know, as long as nobody's injured, I think it's, uh, it just is what it is. So, um, not that I'm not trying to be extra careful about it. It's just, you know, there's only so many times I can be like, I'm going to be extra careful. And it still happens that I can continue to say that with a clear conscience, you know. Mm. So that's it. Let's start our mailbag. And uh, somebody's already on our mailbag. <laughs> Hi, that's uh, Friday there, Fry. Now, this one is the one that really tipped me off because it says very clearly on it, birthday mail with a little um, drawing of a balloon and a birthday box. And it says to teaspoon at Kitten Academy. So now we know what's up. And let's just start with it then. Here we go. It's got three flaps and I'm opening the one that's wrong, I think. That's okay. So if I'm even opening anything at all, off to a great start. Okay. Uh, we have, oh, look how pretty that is. Wow, it almost hurts my eyes though. It's like mm. very uh, colorful, but it does. It looks yeah. just like teaspoon. It says teaspoon on it. And it's got these really bright like blue and pink stripes. I don't know if you've ever had that effect with uh, um, where you see blue and red together and they're so bold that they almost like feel 3D, like they're diff different depths. This is especially cute. It's a little teaspoon cat Aww. wearing a birthday hat and holding a ball of yarn. It says, happy birthday. Actually, I think it's supposed to be like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes more sense gravity wise. And it's super cute. Wow. Look at those two. I know. Teaspoon and uh, and uh, oh. Greg are wrestling right now. He loves to wrestle with these kittens. And I think they're fine because they meow a lot and they make a lot of complaining noises. But then when he stops, they don't jump up and run away. So I think they're all just playing in good fun. Oh, it's inside. It says, Dear Teaspoon. That's mm -hmm. you, buddy. Are you listening? Teaspoon? He's not listening. He's Teaspoon. biting Greg's head. I wish you the most wonderful birthday full of spoogles and chimkin with all my love, Abby, who is uh, at Heart Abby Heart on Discord. So, Abby, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. This card is completely adorable. Really, really cute. What is that piece of paper? Uh, which the one that this one of the labels came off of one of the boxes, and it's a little adhesive, and they're gonna play with it. I think so, we have to make a birthday board for Yeah, our, we might have to make a little birthday board for our birthday boy. 
Okay. Especially if there's a lot more of it. Um, I did clear all the Christmas cards off of our board in the kitchen, so we could pin them to that. Oh, I see there's a definitely a donation for something in here, so we're just going to put that right in here. Thank you. And this says, good for reading on camera. Well, that's wonderful. This is a very long letter, and I mean literally, it appears to be a long letter. It says, mm -hmm. a story by Mama Lord, formerly known as Londa, in a long tale without an end. I see what you did there because it is a, a circle and it is also colored in orange. little orange and white stripes, just like a cat tail, uh, like little watercolor stripes. That's very artistic. All right, let's continue reading. Uh, in a long tale without an end, a mom cat comes to Kitten Academy. She has her babies, if she can, Baby kitties grow and play and get kissed on the head by Mr. A. Good people adopt them and give them love. There is more. In a long tale without an end, a wow. mom cat comes to Kitten I Academy. I, yes, it repeats. That is very clever, but I especially love... I wasn't expecting the, the, the twist. <laughs> the, the twist. There's no twist. That would make it a Mobius strip. Uh, you could twist, twist you it. You could twist it. Yes, that's fun, though. She didn't need that much space. Uh, this is super cute. I, my favorite part is the, the little artistic stripes, though. They're so pretty. Uh, excellent watercolor use there. And uh, that is a very, very cute. I almost expected it to be like the Lamb Chops. Uh, this is a song without an end, which I'm not going to start because I do know what it is. All right. Uh, thank you, Londa. That's super cute. I just, that's so clever, too. I just, I love something that's sort of artistic and clever, and that's wonderful. All right. This is from Nibbles and Boo to mm. Professor Teaspoon. <laughs> okay. Teaspoon, are you listening? He's just chasing kittens. All right. Aw, this is cute. It's a shiny card that's got a notebook on it. And the notebook has checked, you're smart, you're talented, and you're hardworking. And there's a gold star. It says, you deserve this. And inside, oh, inside there's a yet another donation. My goodness, thank you. Um, let's see. <laughs> this says, dear Teaspoon, congrats on your new job. Love, Mama Nibbles. That's so cute. That is really cute. It says, okay to read on stream. Son, we are proud of you for securing such a prestigious position at Kitten Academy. Work hard at teaching the tinies everything they need to know. Here is something for your surgery to help make you feel better. Remember to rest lots and eat well with love, Mama Nibbles and Boo Spatula. Who's Spatula? Ah, I see. Um, that's super cute, and uh, I, that's just wonderful. So that's a letter from his mom and uh, one of his siblings to him. He's been. Uh, it seems like such a long time ago, and I guess it was. It's been like just about a year that he's been here. I think it's February 11th. That's just off the top of my head. That could be completely wrong. And we've scheduled his uh, first appointment with the surgeon, first appointment you know this year with the surgeon is at the end of February and that's when they will check him out and make sure he's ready for the surgery and if so that's when we're going to schedule it and it should come fingers crossed very shortly thereafter because it's been a long time coming so that's the plan for him coming right up okay then we have one last card from Sporkle I think Sparkle Pants uh, maybe Sporkle Fat Pants Sporkle Pants the Wonderful I'm going to say it is addressed to Teaspoon, the lecturer, Jansen. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Cal is so sweet with everybody. She just rubs up on anybody. Aw, oh, this is adorable. It's a little kitten with a super happy face, almost singing. And Aww. it says, I'm not kitten. <laughs> I think you're perfect. That's super cute. It says, Dear Teaspoon. Hi, T. It's your favorite sister, Spork. <gasps> oh, it's a Sporkle so Pants. I read sweet. it correct. That is so sweet. It's cute that he gets to hear from his siblings, not that he's paying the slightest bit of attention. Yeah, it's okay. Congratulations on becoming faculty. I'm so proud of you. My mom says I'm too silly to be faculty. Can you believe it? Oh. She says I can only be faculty adjacent because one of my favorite places to hang out and chase my tail is on top of the toilet tank, and DJ would not approve. <laughs> That's okay. I know my mom loves me because she always tells me how sweet I am. She likes to call me Sporkle Pants. I don't understand why, but it makes her happy. It's a great name, actually. 
I have two big brothers. They are black and white like me, but cow cats. I try to play with them all the time, but they are a little older and more serious. I also have a big sister, Smidgen, who also grew up at the academy. We love to run and play together. She's super nice. Oh, well, I'm running out of space. I miss hopping around with you. I hope you're doing well. Congratulations oh, again. So sweet. You're the best. I'm the best, too. Lots of love, Spork. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm the best, too. Such a cat attitude. That's super cute. Yeah, that is really adorable. So uh, thank you to everybody that sent birthday wishes and uh, love for Teaspoon. It's really cute for him to hear from his siblings, or at least very cute for us to hear from his siblings. Mm -hmm. Uh, even if he's Hi, kind of indifferent to this whole process. Hi, okay, now we've got some packages to go through, um, and I, I don't know how quickly it's going to go, because um, this is the one, I think, that is a drop ship. This says Creole Moss. Um, so Creole Moss, I don't think Chewy lets you leave any other note than that. So I think that's all we are going to know. We'll have to speculate about the purpose of whatever is uh, the contents of this box. There we go. It's from your mom. It's from Nibbles. It's from Nibbles. Ooh. Well, it's treats, and I see somebody. Uh, I can definitely smell these treats already. And it looks like these are the dried treats that DJ likes to give to the faculty almost every morning. So that must kind of be what they're for. We have a selection here. We have pure beef liver that's been freeze-dried. We have uh, pure ocean whitefish that's been freeze-dried. Pure wild-caught shrimp. Ooh, shrimp. Oh, wow. I think we remember the shrimp. Uh, maybe we've got another millet in the making here. Uh, and a pure wild-caught salmon. Uh, wild-caught salmon, I should say. Wild-caught. Yes. Uh, those are fantastic. I think that those are all things that they are going to love to eat. And I imagine that if I put these in the cupboard, that DJ's going to give them to Maggie and everybody every morning like she does. Because Maggie has come to expect DJ treat time in the morning. And if uh, DJ doesn't give her treats and I'm the first one in the kitchen, she's very annoying. She thinks I'm going to give her treats, um, but uh, I'm not a sucker. So, <laughs> all right. I noticed that um, these two boxes on top say, please open last. Um, and the only other two boxes we have are labeled box one of two and box two of two. So I've got to start with the one that's furthest away. Let me grab that real quick. There we go. Oh, just oh, oh. Slide it's okay. it on over. It's okay. Uh, that's okay. They'll run right back. Oh. They're going to run away, and then they're going to run right back, and then they're going to continue to run all around because they're kittens. It's multiple It's okay. They're both sealed. Okay. I don't think either one's going to spill. Uh, so this is clearly a box. Uh, I recognize the handwriting now. I don't know if some of you... Oh, no. don't open these up. Hmm. Here, maybe put those back in the box can so they I don't get bitten. Some? Yeah, you can. Yeah, pick one. You can definitely oh. give them treats. Here, I'll move this box over here so that, that people can see, hopefully, right through here a little bit if you do it in front of you. Yeah. Check that angle. Yeah, they can see over there where my cups are. Um, Whoa, flakes. So this is clearly Everywhere. from uh, uh, the Johnsons, I should say, uh, Ruth and Bob. And one of two, another classic thing for them to do. Oh, and there's a note right on top, right on the flap. How perfect is that? And the note has oh, a cute little picture of a mixed basket of kittens, one orange cat, one gray and white, and three black and white kitties. Such a cute litter. It says, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and kitties. Hope everyone is doing good. The package has a few items, especially for designated kitties. If not marked, please use the items as you see fit. Food items are, of course, for KA. Oh, no. Uh, we are also sending a few Valentine cat items a little early so that kitties can enjoy for a bit. It's been a very cold here in New York, and we are looking forward to some warmer weather. Yes, Bob and Ruth. Uh, yeah, it's been very cold here, too, but the weather broke yesterday, I think. It got up in the 50s, and today's just been raining all day, and the, I think that has eliminated all of the snow. And I imagine your weather's not too different. Wow, I can smell that. That's strong. Mm -hmm. Very fishy smell. That's great. They must love it. So, Bob and Ruth, uh, thank you guys in advance. I was just thinking of you the other day, and um, uh, it's wonderful, then, to get a note and a package from you. 
So, let's see what has been sent. We've got a beautiful, oh, look at this little tiger cub. That's adorable. I don't know how well you guys can see it. Hopefully, Ow, that was my finger. Oh, maybe if I turn it around, DJ. Oh, so they really like them, huh? Look how cute his face is. Oh. It says, oh, it says Callie. That's so cute. It's got Callie's oh. name on it. So that's for Callie right here. Little Callie. Can you choke because it's too big? <laughs> is it too big? They, they can chew it up. Oh, that is a big piece. Wow. Uh, they're hard to... They'll hard figure to it out. Maybe they would like one of the smaller bits, though. <laughs> Hi, what are you looking for? You've missed it, Fry. You've missed it. Look, the fun is this direction. Okay, try over there. Oh, you too, buddy. I know you're smelling it. Come on, get in there. Oh, those are them. Is that the salmon? That looks yeah, like it's the you salmon. Have to, have to wait, work on it. Yeah, it's a little, little big pieces. Little big First pieces. First, have to make them chewy, and then. Oh, I see. Yeah. I think that's the best way. All right. Oh, them. hey, KMR for KA. That's great. I um, uh, I always keep one can of this in the fridge, and I just had to throw away the one that we opened for this class because it, it was getting old. So it's nice to have one that we can put in the fridge now and keep it sealed for the next class. Uh, when I open them, I always write the. I saw the vet do this first at Dr. K's place. I always write the date that I open it on the lid, and then I know how long it's been there and whether it's probably old enough to toss out. Is there a out. box for this? Uh, there's the one box that came out of right there. I think they should all fit in there pretty well. Okay, here, speaking of treats, is uh, chicken baby food and churu together in this churu container. That's a, right now, almost the uh, Bob and Ruth classic at this point. Oh, there's something in the top, though, that's not either baby food or churu. What is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, fancy mm -hmm. feast mousse pate wow. and, a, and a halo of savory gravy. <laughs> a halo of savory gravy. Whoa, I feel like I'm describing Oops, one sorry, of the Dave. chef's meals on below deck. <laughs> like uh, that's fantastic um, we'll have to plate that especially nicely for the kittens <laughs> so uh, the can of treats the can of kitten food that's fantastic we have more treats here we have temptations in tuna flavor and in chicken flavor Sprout's head is in this box <laughs> <laughs> Sprout is going to be the treat fiend or is the treat fiend she's a little pear shaped as you were saying this morning Mm. Made from scratch. A very cute kitten towel made from scratch. That's adorable. Okay. Uh, what is this pillow? Daddy. Cat throw pillow. Oh, well, it's just a cat head throw pillow. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it right here for the moment, actually, because I can use just a little bit of cushion. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, that's perfect. Ah. Okay, this is K.A. As You See Fit. It's a bag of bunch o rollers, it says, but it's not just rollers. There's actually, um, I see a wand in here and some uh, little fish toy and um, uh, there's a mouse, but it is, it's a lot of balls too and a roller. Very cute. Hi, Julie. Oh, boy. Hi, Julie. Oh, Hi, man, Julie. can I smell what this is? What is this food? That... This is a beautiful tin. It's a little purple tin. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. I'm smelling it to see if it's something in particular. I think Purple you can cushions. guess. Oh, it is. I don't even have to open it all the way, just enough to get the smell. What is that? Do you know what it is? No. You want to smell it? Do you know what it is oh, if you I smell can it? I see it. What is it? It's the got to be the lemon lavender oh, wow. cookies that are so good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, just the smell of it. Oh, these lemon lavender cookies are the best. I tell you, I think about these things all the time. Oh, they're so good. Oh, and it's a whole bunch of them. Wow, it just keeps going. That's wonderful, and the tin is wonderful, and now I'm salivating. Uh, I have, I always have these on my mind, and now I will have some in my belly. Thank you so much. I was hoping when you said you sent people food, I wasn't going to say anything, because I really shouldn't have it, <laughs> but I'm going to. So here we have a food and water mat, and that's a that's a cute one. It's got like it's made of that material that they make the rug holders out of that will make keep things from sliding around, I think. And despite the fact that it appears to have holes in it, it actually doesn't. It's got a plastic layer on the back, um, so it will actually catch the water in that little space instead of letting it go all over the floor. They're much more attractive than the blue ones that we're currently using, so this will be. Uh, we've got two of these here. They will be an excellent addition to the Academy, and I'm sure, I'm sure you will see those in use shortly. 
And then we have some brand new soft throw, um, uh, 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 oh my goodness, blankets. That's what I'm looking for, throw blankets, yes. This one's got little gray and uh, calico, I guess. They're sort of like Dilute Calico cat heads, actually, with cute little expressions. Stop digging in these treats. Can you put this also in your treat box? Oh, which is also Here, being raided. Help. Yeah, my goodness. These kids, treat fiends. All right, let's tuck these in. Peace, boo. There hey, we buddy. go. Put it upside down. Okay, now you can dig around all you want. She's going after the smell of those treats. Okay, this is a very cute throw. Here we have a pineapple throw, and I love the colors on this. It's like blue and yellow and pink uh, with a white background. It's very pretty. As much of that as you can see, I know that's lovely. Oh, and uh, mm -hmm. I love it so much, I got it twice. That's fantastic. So very soft little throws. And then look at this, DJ, just the thing we needed. This is oh, the applause, applause tuna Perfect. fillet with seaweed and broth, dolphin friendly, which is good to know. I've always been dolphin friendly myself. Uh, not that I know many of them, but we are friends. Uh, just you know, you have one dolphin. Species. Do you have one dolphin? Friend? No, no, we communicate. Um, you know. So it says Professor Teaspoon right on it. It is perfect for Professor Teaspoon. In fact, he still gets this every single day. Um, not only this, I cook him chicken, um, and then I add this to the cooked chicken to fill it out a little more and this stuff is like really sought after by cats if i want a cat to eat something and they're not eating the way i would like i put some of this in it and it is it's worked fantastically for us so far it's got such a terrible smell i hate it mm -hmm. but the cats, i like the smell they go right for it so this is this is perfect thank you we were just out of it too uh, just nearly out of it dj i think ordered one more case um, but uh, it's, it's good to have reserves. And I was pointing over here because lately what I've been doing in the morning for everybody is taking like three of the giant cans of Nulo and mixing them up with some probiotics and one can of this and then distributing that to everybody. So they actually have some of this in their food right now and it helps a lot. It, it, they go for it in a way that they were not going for it before I started doing that. So it's good stuff. Um, they have, applause uh, has a bunch of other types as well, which DJ was looking at and reading to me, but this is the one that's been working for us and I don't see any reason to change. We also do have the chicken one and I use it once in a while, but the chicken one is not a huge hit with, uh, with everybody the way that this is. So I wonder if it's the seaweed. I, it might be the seaweed that really gets some, that smells so bad too. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what the ingredients are good for. I just know the kittens love it. And uh, it's really good as a, sort of an appetite uh, stimulant, I guess. No, they must have heard me talking about it. Okay, uh, how am I going to move all this stuff? Can I just... There we go. All right, let's get just a couple of these things out of the way so that I can get to the next box. This uh, blanket for Callie, this is yours. What do you think, huh? You want to smell it? She does not want to smell it. She's just looking over here for more treats. That's okay, too. Can't blame her for that. These uh -huh. kids are really participating in mailbag today. I gotta like that. Okay. Oh, cookies, my cookies. special cookies. Thank you so much for those, by the way. I know you have to make those, um, you know, yourself, obviously. And uh, I appreciate that effort. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, just, oh, so good. So good. Uh, I know she's shared the recipe for those on our Discord. If anybody wants to try to make them yourselves, uh, they are just spectacular for cookies. Okay. Jan, you're silly. All right, so this is box two from Bob and Ruth. Right here, I'm doing this behind. Uh, hang on. You guys are all just treat fiends. Mm -hmm. So interested in what we're doing because any of it could possibly be treats. Okay. Oh, did they get the mouse? Oh no, not out. Which mouse? The cheese mouse. They're just carrying it around that much. Oh. Like. Oh wow, yeah, right. I see that. I don't know if that's on the stream, but yeah. The the, the mouse, the cheese, when it comes, has two mice hanging in it on elastic strings. They usually get pulled off pretty quickly by the classes, but little Monday here was just pulling it all the way out of the mm -hmm. cheese, still on its string. Uh, it's still in there though, so. 
<laughs> okay, look at this crazy scratcher for them to sit on. This is so funny. It is a cat scratching bed, like the sofa bed that, that um, Till has traditionally slept on with the lamp. Uh, it's like that, except yeah. instead of being a sofa, it is a giant Boo. pair of lips, like Beep that boo. sign in Chicago. Beep boo. Um, Beep is that boo. sign still there? Probably. Um, Beep boo. It's, a, it's an icon. Anyway, it's a giant pair of lips, and it also says it includes a plush lip gloss toy. That is so cute. This is almost seems like it should be for Cal or, or Till or one of our mom cats, but... It doesn't specifically say, so that means it's for whomever we think it should go to. It's really cute. And Till probably doesn't care if her thing is a, a giant pair of lips or a, you know some other type of cardboard scratcher. So she might get it. We'll, we'll check it out. It's really cool. Oh. With the lip gloss, oh, too. Cute. Yeah, and it's so pink and girly. Oh, hey, look at this. We have more mail boxes. I just had to repair the, the old mailbox. The bottom was getting wobbly and I tried to tighten it and I tightened it like right through the, the material so it got completely ruined. So I had to take it down to the garage and I put some construction bolts, uh, screws through the bottom of it. And uh, that now it's pretty sturdy, but if it breaks again, then it's done. Anyway, this is another mailbox. This says uh, to heart 14, I guess 2014 is probably what that said at some point. So that dates it a little bit. It says uh, Valentine Boulevard. So it's the street address. That's fine. I mean, um, so these must be for Valentine's Yeah, I see. They're both for Valentine's Day. And I was just looking at all of our old Valentine's Day stuff that's in the basement ready to be deployed. I, I guess I should have realized that Valentine's Day is coming up because I also have been seeing it at the store. But I didn't really put two and two together until you mentioned that you were sending some Valentine's Day stuff. So yeah, maybe we should just put this out for Valentine's Day. Uh, who wants the mailbox the most? But I do know that Till wants more cardboard in her room, which, by the way, I've been taking all of our like rainbow unicorn theme stuff. And slowly, every time I go in the basement, I bring up a couple more pieces to put into her room and tell it's, it's already looks like a rainbow threw up in there. And I love it. I think it's the best. I just It's a, just a, such a wonderful uh, theme. In my opinion, I think it's fantastic. So mm -hmm. I think Till seems to like it too. But she does want more cardboard. I brought in that little rainbow cardboard Eastman. scratcher to hey, her Eastman. the other day. And the minute I brought it in, she was scratching on it. So uh, these kids are all playing in the big basket. Can Take I get that easy, on the buddy. camera for Eastman. you guys? Okay. This is what I was talking about. They tend to make a lot Eastman. of noise, which you probably can't hear right now. Oh, okay. Um, you got to stop. Uh, but yeah. Stop a teaspoon. Okay, teaspoon. But then Monday. Oh, Monday. What is that? Whoa. Wow, ninja. And see, now he's going to go back up to him. Oh. Uh, he's trying to play with the cardboard, though. All right, silly boo. He's just so riled up, Monday. Oh, my goodness. You still want that? Okay. It's being very silly. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Bob and Ruth. That's wonderful. All of it is, is really cool stuff. Um, and I got to say, especially these cookies and the tin that they're in, too. It's a very cute Christmas tin. I love the color of it. It, it really suits the lavender of uh, the lavender cookies. Oh, man, I can't wait for those. I'm so glad I ate breakfast or I would already be going through them. Oh, did somebody pee on that? Threw up. Oh, threw up. Okay. Maybe we should get a blanket to put up there. Yeah. Oh, eh, I, I was going to say we could put Cal's blanket there, but we should save that for when she gets adopted because it's so cute. Um, I don't know if you can see there's that little two-story bunk bed thing uh, and that somebody threw up on the top piece of cardboard. There's still bed slats in there, so like I was saying, you could put a blanket or something in there. It's got just a little bit of thickness to it. We've got a million of them to choose from, so we'll find something. Okay, uh, that brings us to... Please open last, box one of two. And uh, hopefully DJ's coming back because this does say birthday gift on it. And uh, there's only one birthday I can think of. Yes, okay, good. This says birthday gift on it in the customs declaration. So I think this is going to be something for Teaspoon in particular. Oh, so speaking of the way the kittens like to yell when Teaspoon bites them, Holly is currently biting Jan, uh, J I'm sorry, um, 
uh, Julie in the in oh. the bed, and Julie is making those same little cries. Okay, baby. These kids are just super vocal. They have been the whole time, you know. All right. Well, let's go ahead and open this. I didn't quite catch if DJ's coming back or not. Um, I think she's trying to find something to put in there, maybe? Oh, this card is so cute. It says, thank you very much in 3D. There we go. And inside we have, you are the best. A very big thank you to all those who are helping in the background. You know who you are. To keep KA up to date and posting videos, cute ones, mailbags, close-ups, and mini close-ups, KA is the best and safe place on the internet. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That reminds me that I had intended uh, to start Mailbag by mentioning the work of both Ruby Moon. Uh, if I think if you search for Ruby Moon and Kitten Academy together, you'll probably find her YouTube channel where she posts little videos that she makes of the Kitten Academy stuff. And also Busy Cat. That's Busy Cat with a um, B I Z Z I cat. Uh, also on YouTube. And uh, she also posts uh, wonderful videos uh, that are a lot of the stuff that's in the micros, but early and a little bit better edited, maybe, at least done by a human being. And a bunch of other little moments, too, that uh, you wouldn't otherwise catch. And I know that everybody on the Discord knows about those already, but uh, not necessarily everybody else. So uh, thank you for reminding me that I wanted to mention that. This is from Charlie, I believe. I, Charlie I, by the way. Let's find out for sure. Uh, so, we have a letter that says, Good morning, K-A-T-Z. Good afternoon, U-K-T-Z. Good night, Bally T-Z. My son asks if Custard needs a PFT, a personal fitness trainer. He certainly does. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I hope you are both well. It was a great news that, I'm sorry, it was great news that Serenity is going to be adopted by the best person ever. She will have the best life ever, forever. Thank you for all your hard work with all the felines that pass through KA. And best of all, I see my teaspoon every day. Um, I hope DJ doesn't forget that she's wearing a microphone out there, by the way. Uh, thank you for mentioning that, too, because Serenity's adopter has been keeping up uh, with us on Discord. And we see... I. I thought that Serenity would take maybe a few days to kind of come around to being in a new place with a new person, but she was snuggling and getting belly rubs that very first night, which is wonderful. Uh, just wonderful. Uh, just the best adopter that she could possibly have. All right. Box number one contains Teaspoon's first, first birthday present. You may, Prezi, you may keep it aside for the birthday day or open it now. Your choice. Hint, it needs to be added to his Christmas Prezi. Oh, well, I think I know what that means. Um, and then box number two, well, it contains the named rings for Cal and her timey-wimey wibbly-wobblies. Don't forget you're wearing a microphone. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't sure if you were out there, you know, like cursing the laundry or something. Um, and then box two has the named rings for Cal and her timey-wimey wibbly-wobblies. Also some toys, which I found in Weirdo and Kevin's cupboards. They've never been out to play, so you may do with them. As you see fit, uh, you will find t-shirts for you and Dr. DJ. Be careful when washing as the dye leaks out the first couple of washes. But you know that, don't you? I don't know. I mean, theoretically, I know that, but I don't always pay attention. So uh, thanks for the warning. Weirdo is fine. Kevin is not losing weight as he should, but otherwise he's still his laid back self. I'm going through a few medical issues, including putting my back out again, but I can turn on KA live streaming stream and completely forget my problems. Just watching you and your interacting with kittens is the best medicine. Thank you. Take care and stay safe, Charlie. Uh, purrs and meows from weirdo and overweight Kevin. P.S. Sorry for the mistakes. Oh, don't worry about that. Uh, I, I hope you uh, take care of your back. That can definitely be something that is uh, just awful to have to deal with, especially um, when it's ongoing. And uh, I know that firsthand. Um, hopefully both of us can put it behind us at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open Teaspoon's present right now, as you said that that was an option. And I, I don't know exactly when his birthday is anyway. And DJ's here, so it's convenient. So... We have a little card here that looks like Baby Teaspoon in a rug. And it says, Happy First Birthday, Teaspoon. That's you, buddy. 
<laughs> May you have lots more, lots Bye. of love from Auntie Charlie, Weirdo, and Kevin. Aw, oh, thank you so much. And I think this is just packing material. Just checking, good. And this is in a little gift bag for teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we already know what it is. I think DJ was out of the room when I read the hint that it goes with his Christmas present, which was that uh, sort of yellow colored ball tower that's in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I then think it's going to be an extra layer for that. Oh, in fact, it is pre-assembled. Wow, I guess you saw the difficulty I had getting the first one assembled. Very cute. Oh, and each layer has two balls on it. So that's perfect. We can add this to his. We'll, I think we'll have to find some way to uh, fasten it to something at that point, though, because it's going to be kind of top-heavy. Of course, they can have just as much fun pushing it around sideways. There's no what? problem with that either. Goes so, the, it goes at the bottom. Yeah, it goes at the bottom. But I'm saying that you're going to have, it's um, going to be so, and it's already gets tipped over quite a bit. So maybe I can find some, some way to secure it to like a piece of wood. Or it can or, be next to it too. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, you can do that too. But like I said, the first one already gets knocked Look over at him, a lot. He loves Although, him. you know what? If you did take the two of them and zip tie them next to each other, that would probably make them pretty sturdy. He's already mm -hmm. going for it. He loves the, the old ball tower. He just is a, such a, a fan of the ball tracks and towers still. Good job, buddy. Mm -hmm. He's going to go right for it. Happy birthday, Happy Teaspoon. Birthday, That's got to feel good. The perfect little present for his birthday. All right, and then box two of two, it says, uh, I think we already then have spoiled everything that's going to be in here, but that's okay. I guess the, uh, the customs declaration would have spoiled it for us at any rate, because it clearly says cat toys, t-shirts, and crochet toys, and we know what that means from Charlie. There we go. Uh, I just the um, the little one that you made for our Mr. Whiskers, our mouse friend. Uh, we replaced the dishwasher that it was stuck to, but I moved it over to the fridge when that happened. And just this morning it was the first time I've had to pick it up off the floor and put it back on the fridge. Uh, I'm surprised how well it stays on that little hook that I put it on, uh, just almost all the time. But I was just thinking of it for that reason. Okay. Here we have a very cute little kick uh, toy that's a, a wonderful blue color, but it's got Christmas stockings on it and kittens in the Christmas stockings. So it's kind of got a Christmas theme happening. Oh, hi. Fry wants to get it. Fry, get it. Oh, it's a kitten size kicker, apparently. Okay, go for it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Okay. Oh, somebody smells farty. Okay. Not me, though. Here we have some fat, flat mice with little fur, uh, I'm sorry, string tails that are super cute. This looks like something maybe we can encourage Drizzle to get back into playing fetch with. Uh, or, you know, maybe we should stop trying to make fetch happen for now. I made that joke once already this morning. DJ's giving me the perfunctory chuckle. Uh, here we have a matching little cat kicker that has just cat heads on it. Very cute in pink. So we have pink and blue. We have... Oh, <laughs> I see something cute. Okay, we'll get to that. Here we have the long tail mice. Why don't we leave one of these out for these guys right now, too? There we go. The rest of them we can put aside for the moment. Uh, we have a whole bag of these little felted balls. These guys are just about the right age for that as well. Can't hurt to toss a couple of those out. So, fantastic. Felted balls. Then we get to the fun stuff. Look at this. We have... Oh, what are these? These are... Uh, well, let's take a look at one in detail. This is for Calendar. So Calendar has the normal little name rings that you always make. I think that's, there we go, maybe easier to see. It says Calendar, and they're wonderful, very cute. But then you've also included this. It says Handmade with Love. It's got like a little button head, and it's a little worm with a face on it. And that's going to be so cute for them to play with. Uh, it's got like a, it's made into a spiral. It's got the adorable mm -hmm. little face, and it's wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way I think of it, anyway. That's that's really really cute. And you are just gonna sit right in there, huh? Why are you being like this? So let's put calendars back in the baggie. Very cute. I love the little worm toy. That's gonna be fun. Greg, uh, are you? So we have one also for Greg. Oh, they've got different size hats. This one's got a tiny hat, but it also says handmade with love on it. It says Gregorian, and he's got a little white worm in there with a tiny hat. 
And then we've got Friday that has this beautiful blue color with a tiny hat worm. And Monday that has the same blue with another tiny hat worm. I guess the big hats are for the moms and the tiny hats are for the kittens. And we have Holiday in pink, of course, because she's the girl. And then, this is cute, we have uh, January with a lost tail. And that's very cute. So you've included us a little extra tail for January because January didn't come with one, as you can see right here. So we got a little tail on the uh, on the name ring. That's super cute. And of course, a, a dark blue little worm friend. Oh, isn't that cute? The little tail. That's so thoughtful of you to include a tail for Jan and also for Julie. That we gave them both girl names with J's. And that's uh, that's cute. So little Julie also has a lost tail. That's that's adorable. Charlie, thank you so much for those. The, I know their adopters have got to really appreciate these, and I think the little name uh, blocks that you use are so cute. Okay. Buddy, why do you have so many? Read first. Covers? Okay, Mr. A, this T-shirt is perfect for you, gaming and cats. What more do you want? Coffee. Wash with dark colors, dye runs. Oh, okay, we got multiple warnings on that. That's good. I normally do not separate. I don't even separate our whites from our colors like you're supposed to. I just take whatever's on top and throw it all in there together. And uh, most of it's been washed so much that it doesn't even matter at this point. And modern detergents are pretty good. So I don't think about that as much as I ought to. It's good to have the warning on this. Um, wow, okay, let's see here. Ah, I can't hear you. I'm gaming. It's got a very angry kitty wearing uh, headphones and playing video games. It looks very familiar. That's that's cute. Thank you for that. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Uh, and then there's one more in here that is addressed to DJ. Also with a note that says, this t-shirt is perfect for DJ because, number one, it has a picture of a doctor... Number two, it has a picture of a doctor who is teaspoon. Julie, what are you what are you crying about? Are you gonna vomit? Yeah. Oh, yep, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, back it up. Oh no. Oh, oh, uh, no. Uh, oh that no. must be the treats. The salmon. I see it. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Wow, buddy. it looked better the first time. Where is the nearest paper? Towels? Right in the middle in the middle bathroom should be the whole cleaning kit. Oh, but the, the surface cleaner's in our bathroom, isn't it? No, the paper towel's out. Where's more? Oh, Downstairs? they're all the way in the garage. Sorry. There's some in the bedroom, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. It has a picture of a doctor who is teaspoon. It has a picture of a doctor who is teaspoon with beautiful blue eyes. I hope Dr. DJ likes it. Well, she'll be right back to take a look at it as soon as she finds the cleaning stuff. Don't You don't have to clean that up for us. Oh, she's <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, such a sweetheart. Little Sprout was just going to try to cover it up. <laughs> okay. I think uh, I think Julie tends to have a little bit of a delicate constitution when it comes to food because uh, she was he was also the one that was throwing up the milk the most when that time came. So uh, I guess that's something to watch out for. Okay. Oh wow! It really is. It's a doctor cat with blue eyes. It does look like a little teaspoon as a doctor. It's perfect. It really is perfect. Look at that, Dr. Teaspoon. Look, Dr. Teaspoon for you. Oh. Isn't that cute? That's so pretty. It's even got his blue eyes. Yeah. That's really adorable. Oh, this is gross, little buddy. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Thank you so much, Charlie. And thank you to everybody. What a great birthday for Teaspoon. I didn't expect us to celebrate Teaspoon's birthday. But I think it's really sweet that, that all of you did. And I know Teaspoon would also think it was sweet if he had any idea what was going on around him at any point. <laughs> He's a little clueless, but we love him anyway. Oh, you got a poop in there, buddy. Mm. Right. That's not good. It's not giant. It's it's going to be fine. It's not as bad as he he's has not, been. He's not supposed to be eating just all the regular food. Yeah, we got to we got to limit his consumption of the regular food a little more. Buddy. He's gotten too used to eating it as much as he wants and also eating his food. Do you know I'm talking about you? 
He's blind? I think he does. He's like, what did I do wrong? I know that tone of voice means I did something wrong. All right. Oh, here, give me your mic. We're done. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, he is. He's just staring. He looks right into your soul. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again to everybody for everything. It was fantastic. Charlie, thank you. Uh, Bob and Ruth, thank you. Um, and uh, just it, a wonderful, wonderful mailbag. Um, it was uh, uh, Creole Moss was the last... That was That's everybody for the packages at least, right? It was Creole Moss. I got that right. Yay me. So uh, thanks to everybody. I can't wait to dig into these lavender cookies. I'm going to try to put it off as long as I possibly can because I know once I start, they're just going to disappear. Um, but uh, wow. Okay, uh, I'm going to shut off my own mic, switch it to the regular mic, get this all cleaned up, and uh, we'll move from there. I think I accidentally had both mics running. Sorry. Now I got it off. My bad. These kids really enjoyed this week's mailbag, didn't they? A good one for the kids. What am I going to do here? Let's see. You guys can have one of these mice, and I'll bring the other one to the bedroom, like I said, for uh, um, Drizzle. should probably leave the Valentine's Day stuff out somewhere instead of filing it away, so I can take all the impalements and put them in the other box here. Uh, and, ooh, Adam, okay. Go. Oh. Sorry, kids. I know. So scary. Probably a good lesson to run away from me when I'm lumbering around. Okay. This I want to make sure goes to the kitchen. Along with those. Pile all that together. Cards need to go downstairs, so I'll send them with the endowments. Kitchen box, which needs to include this. This can go straight across the hall to the laundry. Just saying that she thinks they want a tissue pit. I do think that's correct. 
Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll get one next time I go to the basement instead of bringing up more rainbows. Hey, what are you doing? You should not be climbing over the barrier. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That barrier is there for you to uh, be blocked by, not to climb. Oh, Fry. Oh, okay, Fry. All right, Fry boy. Also, a quick cleanup. These are some great mailbags lately. Just the right stuff. DJ's made this all crooked in the wrong direction for these kittens to be seen. Whoops. Ah, there we go. She tends to sit on the edge of the beanbag chair. I don't know how she does it. There we go. I always feel like I'm doing it wrong if I sit on the edge. Okay, this I can take straight over to the bedroom where his other toy is. The kids are going nuts in there, so I plugged in the camera. I unplug it at night, uh, the one in the bedroom. Oh, I just got the weirdest deja vu. Um, okay, so anyway, um, I, uh, let's see, uh, what was I saying? I plugged it in so you can see them all playing over there, but it would take just a minute to boot up, and then I, um, they're, they're flying around. Oh, I also took tea, uh, Teaspoon's tower, his new piece of the tower, and I attached him to the old piece of the tower. He's, in fact, very tall. Uh, I expect it's going to get tipped over a lot until I take, uh, what I'll probably do uh, is go both uh, simple and uh, practical. I tend to keep all of the extra like pieces of cardboard that make the bottoms of these toys. Oh, you can't see that one. Like the one that's in there, the one that DJ just took out. Uh, I tend to keep a bunch of those around just in case we need them for something. They're easy to cut to the right shape for stuff. They're uh, just a good, good stuff to keep around. I think what I'll do is take one and then I can just zip tie that to it probably. And uh, that'll be fast and easy and give it a nice solid base so it doesn't get tipped over and something extra for them to scratch at while they're playing with it. I even think I have one that's like an octagon or round somewhere already. That would be a good choice, but that tower is very tall now. It's, it's cool, it's cool. Be interesting to see how tall it could eventually become. All right, thanks again, everybody. I'm going to end the recording right here. So if you're watching live, keep watching. If you're watching recorded, uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>